Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I'm pretty late, but that's okay. Um, I know you guys have exam on 21st. I hopefully will upload this video on 20 and I'm recording it at 12 a.m. So, yes. So we are going to do the 10 marker, which is the most questioned question, how to solve it. So I'm going to show you a sample or you can read the sample and we can read it together, or you can just pause the video and read it. So it's basically a question about a planning of a study. And this is a sample. You can read it, pause the video. So you're most probably going to start the study with the aim, obviously. And I'm going to share you your syllabus also mentions what are the important features that you have to mention in the planning of the study is aim and if they ask about hypotheses then you can write it if they don't ask it's up to you and then procedure of the study obviously you can write about interventions post-intervention pre-intervention follow-up anything like that then you've got a sample you have to mention how many people you have recruited from which sampling technique also have to mention the ethics you have to tell whether your um, study approves of ethical guidelines. Do you mention that? And then you have to also make sure that your study is valid and reliable. Means uh, you can have things that makes your study more reliable, um, like retest, test, you know, reliability, things like that. And you also have types of data and the data analysis that how you're going to um, the, the data that you have collected from your procedure, um, like, for example, your questionnaires or self-reports um, and things like that. And also um, the scores. Most probably the scores will have, um, the questionnaires will have scoring. So you have to make sure that you need to uh, analyze the data, whether it's quantitative. It's most probably going to be quantitative. This is also in your syllabus. They're telling if they ask you plan experiment, then these things are important to mention. You'll get marks based on this. If they ask you about self-report, you have to mention all of these. Case study, you have to mention this. Observational study, you have to mention whether it's over to cohort observation, uh, whether it's controlled or naturalistic. Also have to mention about correlational studies are the most questioned one. Um, people, if you have an AS level, you'll most probably be aware of all of them. So it might not be something so new for you. Then you also have for longitudinal studies. You can, if you want your study to be a more valid, um, if, whether it's experiment, observation, whatever, make sure you add a little bit of a longitudinal one and your study is longitudinal, uh, you know. So this is it. But I'm going to go back and read all of uh, read the question and uh, the sample answer that I made. So here it is. The aim of the study is to evaluate the effectiveness of the three psychological treatments. So they did not mention the psychological treatment. I mentioned it here. And most probably your uh, examiner would not be, you know, able to give you the names of the treatments. So you have to remember the, in, the names of the treatments, whether it's CBT or ECT or anything. Um, so you need to know that. Then there, there must be two conditions or two things that you must include in your, um, in your study that would be given by you from your examiner. So this is the aim of the study, um, and it's to evaluate the effectiveness of these three uh, psychological treatments. Uh, to manage pain. So what we are going to do, you're going to write exactly like this. Um, you can, you know, write it down. So we will conduct a lab experiment using independent measures design. We will recruit 90 participants aged 18 to 65 experiencing chronic pain through opportunity sampling from an inpatient clinic. Now, the mention of age is most probably a good thing. Um, generalizability, you don't have to mention all of that because you don't have much time either. Um, patients will have to fill the consent form, see, ethical. 
you have to put the ethical guideline here as well. You need to follow that. An extra researcher will be there to assist them and if they want to withdraw at any moment. This is to make your study more valid and ethical. Then we will randomly assign participants to one of the three treatment groups, 30 participants per group. Independent variable is the type of psychological treatment from one of those three. And the dependent variable will be the severity of the pain levels using McGill pain questionnaire at baseline post-intervention and follow-up. Our non-directional hypotheses uh, will be that there will be significant difference in the effectiveness of attention diversion, non-pain imagery, and cognitive redefinition in managing pain among pa participants in these three groups. In attention diversion group, participants will focus on an engaging task, engaging external tasks like puzzle solving to divert attention from pain. In non-pain imagery group, participants will engage in guided imagery. Researcher will use standardized scripts to make more reliable. In the sessions where participants will imagine non-painful and pleasant scenarios. In participant in cognitive redefinition group, participants will go undergo cognitive behavioral therapy sessions to reframe their perception of pain. Participants will self-report the severity of pain levels using McGill Pain Questionnaire. This will be our baseline test. Then we will start the intervention by conducting the respective treatment for each group over a period of four weeks with session held twice a week of 30 minutes each. Then again, we will measure pain levels using MPQ immediately after intervention period. We will also conduct a follow-up to measure pain levels one month after the intervention using the MPQ. Now we will calculate the mean differences in the pain scores in each group before intervention and after follow-up to determine which is more effective than the other. Use bar charts to present the mean differences in pain scores for each treatment group. The researcher here calculating data will be blinded to participant group to reduce researcher bias. I hope this made sense. You can do a quick task is that you can, um, you know, pause the video here and you can go to the next slide. Yes, here you can see I have mentioned all of the things that are mentioned here or those things that the examiner will want you to have on your answer paper. And because it was an experiment and it was a field experiment, so I did mention the location, which was the inpatient clinic. So you also have to mention all of those things, the random allocation, the choice of experimental design. Mine was one uh, independent major design. And then control standardization of the script. I mentioned dependent variable, also the independent variable, and the type was the field experiment. Easily a 10 mark, nothing to worry about. This is the most easiest question. I don't know why people, you know, mess around this question. It's literally uh, in your syllabus that what the, uh, the examiner wants from you. I hope this video helped. Uh, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I will come to you. I know this video is pretty late, but let's just hope for the best.